Welcome back to KX News. The Legion Baseball postseason is here with the Class A West Division Tournament kicking off here in the Magic City at Corbett Field today as teams battle for a spot in next week's state tournament in Mandan. Starting with the third game of the day, the Bismarck Capitals taking on the Bismarck Senators. Let's start it off in the second inning, still scoreless, and it's Branson Tift dropping one just into fair play, now bringing Avery Emery to make it a 1-0 ball game. Kepler's looking to extend that lead. Xander Huntington grounds out to first, but that'll be good enough to bring in Tift, who is on third, to give the Capitals a 2-0 lead. Kepler's trying to stay hot at the plate. This time it's Riley Gabbert sending a shot to left field, but Andrew Patton goes full extension, making the diving catch for the inning ending out. Senators still looking for some juice early on, and they'll find some. It's Lucas Farstad lining one in the outfield, and Farstad will get on first for the single. Let's skip ahead and let's go to the third game the final game of the day, the Minot Metros battling the Dickinson Volunteers. First inning, Metros threatening with a runner on, and it's Drew Jordan flying out to right field, but that's good enough to bring in Remington Anderson to give the Metros a 1-0 lead. Metros looking to extend that lead. This time it's Brock Thompson dropping one into center field. That'll bring in Gavin King to make it 3-0 Minot. Falls looking to get out of the inning, and they will as Easton Vett sends a shot to left field, but Kean Hoff is there to make the routine out. That's the end of the inning there. Vols looking to cut into the Metro's lead. Drew Gable pops one high in the air, but the Metro's can't handle it, and Gable gets in a second for the double. But let's go to some action earlier in the day. It's the four seed Mandan Ace facing five seed Wofford City. Let's start on the third inning. Mandan up two to zero. It's the Ace looking to pick off a runner at second, but they forget all about that runner at third, and Carson Vall comes in to score to make it a one-run game. Still in the third, Wofford City looking for the tie as Landon Ladal drops one into right center. That'll bring in Tyson Kukchenbuk to knock things up at two. Ace looking to get out of the inning, and they will as Hunter Cowan pops one to right center. Ryan Bitts ranges over, makes the over-the-shoulder catch for the inning ending out. Let's go to the fourth inning. Wofford City back up at the plate, and the Ace looking for the pickoff at second. Once again, forget about the runner on third, London Roan, who gives Wofford City a 3-2 lead. And it's the Mandan Ace coming from behind to take it in a close one. 8 to 7. In the tournament opener this morning, top seed Bismarck Reps battling the 8 seed Williston Oilers. Reps getting the victory there, final 8 to 3. And in the Class B District 1 Legion tournament, Hayes and Astros take home the title with a 6 to 4 win over Washburn in the championship, punching their ticket to the state tournament in Lemoore next week. 